amazing scholarship benefits. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to another fully funded scholarship opportunity. If you have a dream to study in Europe for your master's, then this is an opportunity to achieve that dream because today I will give you an important update on the fully funded Erasmus Model Scholarship, which covers your entire tuition and you also get a stipend of about 1,200 euro monthly, your health insurance is covered and even your flight ticket is covered. Now here are some interesting catch about the scholarship. You get to study in three to four different universities and countries in europe you spend at least one or two semesters in different countries isn't that very interesting and this scholarship is open to all nationalities work experience is not mandatory and there are no age limits English language requirement depends on the course that you plan to study that you have applied for so it is not mandatory and for this scholarship there are no GPA requirements in fact so let's look at how to apply for this scholarship and everything you need to know about going in for this scholarship so this is the website and here you can find so many opportunities study abroad as well as other financial opportunities but we are going to go straight to the erasmus scholarship and the benefits which will cover your full tuition fees so you don't have to think about paying school fees and you also get a money stipend which i think has been increased it's been increased every year so this might probably change um, during your own time but you even get higher amounts of money per month and also the interest interesting part is co it covers your full flight so you don't have to stress yourself about where will i get flight tickets so you basically just have to apply and when you get the scholarship you're going to have to leave your main country so you have a particular country that you will that will be your main country then the other countries you're going to study will be like visitation so you visit that country for one or two semesters and then you come back to your main country. So it makes everything very flexible. You don't have to worry about moving from one country to another. And this scholarship also covers your travel allowance from country to country. And also there is no bond restriction for you to return to your home country after the program. This means that you're able to get a job visa to search for a job after you complete your master's program. Here are some of the countries that participate in the Erasmus Model Scholarship. So a lot of countries in Europe you'll be studying for this scholarship. You just have to choose about three to four different countries that you would like to study. And depending on the course that you want to study, you they will let you know the country that you'll be studying in. So the countries that participate in this um, scholarship include Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, Cyprus, Croatia, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Netherlands, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Slovakia, Spain, Sweden just to name a few basically all countries in europe so those are the countries included in this scholarship now let's look at the document um needed or required so you need to take note that depending on the course that you're going to apply um we will look we'll, we'll still look at how you're gonna apply towards the end of the video but depending on the course you're applying to the documents that are required might differ but the major documents that are required in most of the courses include your motivation letter which is very important and you can ask me on how to do that if you're not sure on how to do that and that will help you win the scholarship and so you also need that motivation letter so once you write a good motivation letter you're sure to win this scholarship or it's you have a higher chance of winning this scholarship and also you need your national id you need your passport you need your cv preferably the euro pass format you also need a first degree because it's a master's scholarship so you need to have a first degree to apply for masters normally and then you need a recommendation later which is also quite important and in terms of proving your English proficiency, this depends on the course you're applying to. Some courses will allow you to prove it through your certificate of English. 
but some others would need more tests like maybe you need to write the Duolingo test or the IELTS test so it really just depends now let's dive in on how to apply for this scholarship so it's quite a prestigious one but the application is very straightforward um, you don't have to apply for the scholarship and admission separately. The scholarship and admission application is in the same application process. And although you're going to be studying in different countries or different universities, you do not have to apply to the different universities separately. You just have to apply online and you are good to go. So I'm going to show you how to go about that right away. Um, so once you're on the official website of the Erasmus model, which is where we are now, um, which you always see the Erasmus Mother Catalog. So it's basically the web page where you can find all the master's programs that are eligible for the Erasmus Mother Scholarship. So what you have to do is read through this page. Just read carefully, but you want to eventually come right down where it says Erasmus Catalog. And the left-hand side, you can see there's a filter there. You search the particular course that you're interested in. You put your name right there. And then you can select the country that you want to study. For example, if you're interested in studying in France, then um, you want to choose maybe something close to Paris. Or you want to study in Spain. You would like to study in Germany. You just have to select the country that you're interested in. And the course that you're going to is going to show up in the right hand side will be fitted to the course that are taken in these countries. Then you can select, you can study in the United Kingdom. So there are really different countries that you can study in. It just depends on your choice. So once you choose your field of study, you filter all of that good stuff, you put your name. And now when you look at the right hand side, you see the countries that um you'll be studying, where the projects will being will be carried out the different fields that you want to study. So for example, if you want to do Masters of Science or Global Environmental Development, you just click on it and then it's going to take you there. So always scroll down to the bottom, you go to the filter part and then you fill all that good information, you submit and you're good to go. So right on this website, like always make sure you read through it carefully. Because there are certain steps that are required for you to apply online regardless. And as you can see, you can apply now. Then there's a button right there that says planner. Although the scholarship is not open, but yeah, you can still click on apply. And then it's going to take you to everything you have to go through. So once you apply, it's, it's always the application period is from October to January. Now we are in November, so this is a great time to apply, right? And you're going to see some information that will really um, teach you step by step on how to apply. So guys, please don't dull on this opportunity. The time is now. I'll put the link of the website below so you can take your time and go through it make sure to apply prepare all the necessary documents required before submitting your application um and you have to write that motivation later so make sure you have everything in place before you even start uh trying to sub um trying to start the application and if you have difficulties in applying or you're not sure of how to write that later you're not sure of how to get a recommendation later whatever the case may be don't hesitate to reach out. Apart from the Erasmus Scholarship, when you go on this website, you're going to see other scholarships. Institutions as a whole can apply. So a school, if maybe you're a principal of a school, or you're a um, professor or something, and you want your school to apply, you can still come on this website and apply as an institution. There are also opportunities to apply as an individual. So it just depends on what you go for, right? So play around this website, see what it, it has a lot of good stuff. It has a lot of information. Play around it and see what it has for you. And just continue watching this video to the end. I hope you learned something. Stay blessed and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Have a blessed rest of your day wherever you may be and don't forget to let me know where you're watching from i'm recording i'm recording this video from the united states but don't forget to tell me where are you watching this video from and hopefully hopefully it was helpful and at the end of this video there will be where you can contact them 
so watch to the end of this video and see how you can contact them in case you have any questions and maybe i cannot answer or you just want to go straight to the point straight to the main people then their contact and everything's at the end of this video so stay tuned and stay blessed bye